music is something adored by many people, be it young or old. An instrument commonly associated with classical music is the violin. This beautiful stringed instrument seems daunting to many people, but in reality is not that hard to learn. I am not a professional violinist myself, but that does not mean I can't teach you a basic song on the violin. To do this, I'm going to be teaching you how to hold the violin, finger placement, and how to make a good tone. To start off with, you need to know the parts of the violin. As you can see here, the violin is a complex but beautiful instrument. Here we have the bridge, the fingerboard, the neck of the violin, and the scroll. The violin has four strings. Here we have G, D, A, and E. Before you can begin playing, you need to know how to hold it. Something that my teacher has taught me is called the Statue of Liberty Hold. So to do this, you grab the violin by its neck, like the Statue of Liberty, and then you bring it under your chin like so. This is where it's going to go when you hold it. It's very important that you don't let it loose or make it slip. However, before you can begin playing, you need to have a shoulder rest, which I have here. You can attach it anywhere as long as it's comfortable for you as the player. Once you have this, you're ready to go. Now, firstly, you need to be able to know how to tighten up your bow and be able to put rosin on it. Rosin will make sure that you do not have any squeaky sounds as a violin player. After doing this, you need to tighten it up by taking the scroll on the end and tightening it. So after tightening your bow, you can hold up the instrument and the scroll needs to be about nose level with you. It can't be pointing too far down or too far up, otherwise you won't be able to play effectively. So to hold your bow, you need to have your fingers like this. A common mistake is for people to jaunt out their pinky tip like this, but it needs to be loosely curved and your hand needs to be relaxed. Your ring finger needs to be on the little circle of the bow. So, after doing this, you're ready to begin playing. We're going to start off on the A string, and I need to show you how to make a basic sound. So, in order to ha not have any squeakiness, you need to make sure that your elbow is in, in place and doesn't move. If you let your elbow move all over the place, like this, then you're not going to get any sound. So, you need to make sure that your elbow effectively goes down and up in one motion, like so. You also need to make sure that this hand, your left hand, is relaxed and not too far up to the neck of the violin. This is called pancake hand and can cause it many health problems if your hand is too tense. It needs to be really relaxed. Your fingers also need to be loosely curved on the strings. So for this demonstration, I have attached tapes on the neck in order for you to know where your fingers should be placed. After playing for a little bit, you will no longer need these tapes, but for the first little bit, it will help you know where to go. So your fingers cannot be placed on the very edge or on your fingernails, otherwise it will catch your fingernails and it'll probably rip them. So the pads of your fingers need to go loosely on the strings. The song that I'm going to be teaching you today is from Suzuki's Method's first book, and it is a Twinkle Twinkle Little Star variation. You really don't need to know anything about reading sheet music in order to play this. You can just listen by ear and then copy. So firstly, you should probably fill in the notes if you're reading by sheet music, which I have already written in. So, This is going to include mainly A string and E string, but with different finger placements. So for finger placements, the first one you want to have is on B, and you can do this by putting your first finger at the top of your A string. You're also going to need to know how to play F, which is going to be your first finger on the E string, uh, C sharp, which is your second finger on the A string, and D, which is your third finger on the A string. After you know this, then you can 
play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. These are 16th notes and a quarter note, which means you're going to be going pretty fast and then slow down. And it repeats this throughout the entire thing. So, I do not have a music stand. I'm using a chair for this demonstration. But as long as you can read your music or play it by ear, you should know what you're doing. repeats and you should know where to go from there if you just know the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So if you know where to hold your violin, place your fingers and make a good sound, then you can play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star for all your friends and family to enjoy. The violin is a very fun instrument to learn and doesn't take that much time as long as you put the required amount of practice into it.